What's going on guys? Today I have a quick unboxing and overview of the Intel TS13X liquid cooler. Now, a lot of people out there don't even know this, but Intel does indeed make liquid coolers. A lot of people think that well, there's really only coolers like this out there. Uh, this is a Corsair H80i. This is probably one of the most popular closed loop water cooling solutions. And I mean, it's Corsair. I mean, anyone that uses a liquid cooling solution chances are pretty likely that they have some kind of a Corsair cooler. You know, whether that's an H60, uh, H80i, H100, whatever have you, uh, there's a few other models in there. But uh, Intel actually does make liquid coolers. And so that's what this video is gonna be. This is gonna be kind of a, an overview of this cooler, but also kind of a comparison to the Corsair. So here we have the front of the box. We have an Intel Thermal Solution TS13X for that model number. Right down below that for the Intel LGA 2011. 1366 and 1150X being 1150, 1155, and 1156 processor sockets. So, you know, coming from Intel, uh, it'll cool pretty much any current Intel processor. Uh, so very cool there. Moving on to this side, this is just kind of a graph. Now it doesn't say what processor that they tested with this. It doesn't say the frequency. All we have here are temperatures. So, uh, you know, take it for what you will, but this is just made to give you guys a general idea. Uh, so with a stock Intel cooler, uh, some processor at some frequency got to 77 Celsius, which is you know pretty warm if it's not like an overclock. Uh, you know, then moving down the line here, we have different products. Uh, 6459. This model here, the TS13X, is the best. It got the lowest temperature of 57. Uh, so 57 compared to 77 is a huge difference, uh, especially if that's you know like an overclocked chip. Uh, which, you know, of course, we have no way of knowing. Of course, Intel knows, but I guess ask them. So basically what this is saying is that we have the top of the line model that they offer. Moving back here, we just have a couple, uh, you know, various specs. Uh, fan speeds anywhere from 800 to 2200 RPM. It does have the four wire power management. So if you're using a lot of processor, then you know, your motherboard will detect that and it'll actually clock up the fans and ha have them spin at a higher RPM. So that's very nice. Uh, the fan dimensions, this does take a 120 millimeter fan, as you can see right there. Uh, fan CFM, 73.84, uh, so yeah, this thing moves some air. The noise level, 21 decibels at 800 RPMs, and 35 decibels at 2200 RPMs. So, I mean, you're going to hear it. This isn't the quietest fan in the world, also not the loudest. Radiator dimensions, 150 millimeters uh, by 118 by 37. So, you know, uh, to put it in perspective, uh, you know, like a 120 millimeter fan, uh, you know, so that's pretty close there. 150, that's a bit bigger. So just to give you guys, you know, kind of a relative idea, weighs 820 grams. Uh, you know, just various little specs there. Uh, shows a couple more features down here. Custom designed 120 millimeter fan, improved higher efficiency pump, and copper cold plate for maximum heat dissipation because that heat will definitely, you know, want to go on that copper to get away from the processor. So that's very good there. And we have another side. So I don't want to bore you guys anymore. Right here, I have my Hackintosh juice knife. So what I'm going to do is break that factory seal, which is probably the most satisfying thing I'll do all day. Life of a geek. Now in the box, we have some cardboard. Imagine that. Pull that guy out, and we have nothing left in the box. Take this off. And here we have the cooler. So here's that uh, 120 millimeter fan. Uh, very Intel with the you know the transparent fins. Also in the box we have some uh, some kind of instructions. So awesome stuff there. Now here it looks like we have some uh, mounting hardware. All the different sockets will be in here. You know anywhere from 1150 all the way up to socket 2011. It's all in here. So that's the necessary hardware for actually you know putting it onto the motherboard. And last but not least we have the cooler itself. So we'll go ahead and get this out of the box. Now I, I will say that in, in comparison to something like an H80i, the build quality doesn't feel quite as nice. Uh, that's something that definitely kind of stands out to me here, but uh, that's not to say it won't cool as effectively. So here's the material on the hose. It's definitely kind of you know like a rubber feeling. This is pretty similar to uh, the, the H80i. It doesn't feel as thick though. I think the H80i tubes are a bit thicker, uh, but overall they feel pretty nice. And what I'm going to do here is get the, the actual block out of this plastic. And so here's uh, the block here. So it looks like that we do not have thermal paste pre-applied, which uh, is something that, uh, the, once again, the H80i is awesome at. You know, that's just ready to go for you. You just take off a little piece of plastic, 
and put that on. So now in this little bag here, uh, I did miss this earlier, we do have two little things of thermal paste. So the thermal paste is included, just not pre-applied. And you can kind of tell uh, already where you know, the thermal paste has to go. So there's the, uh, you know, the, the block or the pump. Here we have the power for it right here. So we have a four pin fan header there as well as uh, what looks to be a fan uh, controller. So you can plug that 120 millimeter fan on the radiator into here. And so this is that what I was talking about where when it senses that your processor is getting hot, then this will actually you know, send a signal or you know, maybe depending on the usage or you know, the heat, whatever, it'll send a signal to this fan to say, hey, dude, spin faster. Come on, what are you doing? You're slacking. And then you know, when the, the processor is cool, it'll say, dude, why are you working so hard? Come on, take the load off, let's go. And it'll ramp your fan RPMs down. So my initial impressions are the build quality not being quite as good as the HADI, uh, but definitely good enough to where I think this still will cool very effectively. And so that, you know, the final build quality does remain to be seen, uh, but you know, here's a, a little bit of a closer look at the fan. And there you guys go. So that was just a quick unboxing overview of the Intel TS13X liquid cooling solution. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments. Would you rather have you know, say a, a Corsair HADI, or do you want super performance and get you know something like an H100i? Do you prefer thermal take cooling solutions, or do you think you'd give an Intel solution a try? Be sure to let me know right down in the comments. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also, be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com. I hope to see you guys back here very soon.